Hi, I'm Christina Bell and I'm on a budget, so I'm going to be taking one of my children's artwork and I'm going to be creating a uh, dramatic wall art for uh, over my piano. The first thing that I did was I chose... A... <laughs> now my children made these wonderful pieces of art on poster paper at school. So I, I'm not one of those refrigerator magnet kind of people, and besides, this is awful big to put on the refrigerator. So I decided that I'd like to frame it. I went to a store, and I actually found this one on clearance. This is a um, poster uh, frame. You can find it anywhere, and they're usually very cheap. Mine was on clearance because it had a little dent in it, but it didn't bother me. Um, it looks nice the way it is. I do like it. It does frame it out nice, but I like kicking it up a notch. So I'm going to show you how to make this dramatic. First thing I did was I went to my local lumber, lumber yard. First thing I did was I went to my local lumber yard and I purchased, um, yeah. Alright, what is this called again? Lumber yard. Okay. And what is this called again? Molding. <laughs> Okay, I went to my local lumber yard and I purchased some cheap plastic molding. Um, this was about six dollars for an eight foot length and that'll be just right to frame out my painting. I used a miter box to cut my corners and I painted the frame a dark dark color because I wanted to look dramatic. So now I'm going to mount it and right away you're going to see how much more dramatic this this piece of artwork is going to be just by framing it. Okay, I have my frame all cut out and ready to go, but I really want to make this pop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a lighter paint and I'm going to paint the outside of this so that the dark frame, the light, light color, and then the dark frame again, and the artwork will just make it look gorgeous. I hope you like it. I know I'm going to like it. All right, I have my piano covered. I picked my paint, which is just some leftover paint, and I'm going to paint out the wall and put the frame up, and it's easy as that. It's going to look great. Right, Belle? Now I've marked the wall where I want to put my paint so that I don't go over or under the lines that I need to have. That's not going in the video. Well, I did it. I created a beautiful focal point for above my piano out of a piece of my children's artwork. And it's a wonderful way to display it. And I'm happy. 